Uh, this is uh, kind of historic because you're the uh, first woman ever to fight in a Jackie Chan movie. Is that right? That is correct. This Absolutely. is quite an honor because he, you know, he's a huge uh, martial arts star. And, and how did this happen? How did, how did he let you in? <laughs> um, Jackie and I go back a long way. Actually, he's the first person I've ever I worked with in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. um, so he's like my big, my big brother, but right. he had the saying before mm -hmm. that women shouldn't fight, women shouldn't do all these things except for Michelle. There are just a handful of names in the world of cinema that make an everlasting impression on our hearts and minds. Michelle Yeoh, a person of unmatched brilliance and grace who captured audiences with her astounding performances and trailblazing attitude, is one of these legends. She has firmly established herself as an unforgettable actor due to her impressive martial arts scenes, breathtaking stunts, her compelling presence, and complicated characters. So let's take a look back at the life and legacy of Michelle Yeoh. I mean, I've worked in this industry for almost 40 years, and to finally be recognized for the work that you do, I've been everywhere, and I've done everything, and now I get it all at once, so it's worth the wait. <laughs> Born Yo Chu King on August 6, 1962, in the beautiful town of Ipo in Malaysia. A girl whose name would soon become well known throughout the film industry, Michelle Yeoh was raised in a family with strong ties to both Chinese and Malaysian cultures. Michelle's childhood years were influenced by a wide range of factors. Even though she had Hokkien and Cantonese ancestors, English ended up being the main language she and her father used to communicate. However, the melodic rhythms of Malaysian Cantonese had been taught to her by her maternal grandmother. Michelle showed an incredible passion for dancing from a young age, which set her on the path to becoming an esteemed performer. She entered the world of ballet at the age of four, displaying a unique inherent talent. When she turned 15, her parents decided to move to the UK, giving their daughter access to new opportunities. Michelle was enrolled at the Hammond School in Chester, where she advanced her study of ballet. Michelle wanted to be a ballerina, but fate had other plans. Her aspirations were ended by a spinal injury, forcing her to turn her attention to other artistic endeavors. Moving her concentration to ballet choreography, she received her diploma from the prestigious Royal Academy of Dance in London in 1982. With a Bachelor of Arts in Creative Arts and a minor in Drama under her belt, Michelle started down a path that would eventually lead her to the bright lights of the movie industry. When Michelle's mother entered her into the Miss Malaysia pageant in 1983. My name is Yeo Chu King. I'm a graduate and I come from Epo. Her life took an unexpected turn. To everyone's surprise, she triumphed, displaying her beauty as well as her elegance and grace. A future beyond all predictions would emerge as a result of this victory. Soon after winning the pageant, Michelle was cast in a commercial with the legendary Jackie Chan. She had no idea that this small role would change the path of her life forever. A Hong Kong production company saw Michelle's star qualities, and she was given the stage name Michelle Khan. In 1984, Michelle made her big screen debut, appearing in the action drama The Owl vs. Bumbo. Although cast as the love interest, she was drawn to the fight sequences, noting that their choreography and rhythm were reminiscent of dancing. It was an action film, but at that time, we all played the damsel in distress. And that was my first experience in watching how action movies were being made. And I remember thinking, it's choreography. You know, it's like my dance choreography. Because of her ballet training, she had a strong sense of body, fluid movement, with a tedious attention to detail, all of which flowed naturally into her study of martial arts. Michelle developed a special blend of grace, elegance, and force through a mixture of dance and martial arts, which set her apart from her peers at the time. With each kick, punch, and complex maneuver, she confounded expectations. She had transformed her undying devotion to dance into a passion for martial arts, which opened up a whole world of opportunities. She soon cemented her place in the thriving Hong Kong film industry through her unwavering commitment and unmatched talent. In 1985, she starred in the martial arts movie Yes, Madam, about two female police officers. <laughs> Yeah! 
She made three more action films in 86 and 87, but in 1988 she married film producer Dixon Poon and decided to retire. At the time, Michelle hoped to start a family, but she was unable to have children, and the couple divorced in 1992. After that, she decided to resume her acting career. In her first performance back, she was reunited with Jackie Chan in the movie Police Story 3, later renamed Super Cop. In the film, Michelle portrays Inspector Jessica Yang, a bold and gifted police officer who infiltrates a criminal organization. The high-paced action comedy features a number of incredible stunts. In one death-defying sequence, Michelle hangs from the side of a speeding van. When I watched it back, because we were dubbing it for um, the American market, I swear, I was going, what was I thinking? I was swinging at the side of trucks. I was riding a motorcycle onto a moving train. I was doing the most insane stunts. Her on-screen relationship with Jackie Chan was further cemented by the success of the movie, which made her one of the most well-renowned actresses in Hong Kong cinema. She kept working with many of Hong Kong's top filmmakers, honing her craft and giving outstanding performances. In 1993, she worked with acclaimed director Sue Hark on the film The Heroic Trio, in which she played one of three strong female superheroes with mystical skills. Michelle's portrayal was well received and further demonstrated the breadth of her acting abilities. She soon followed it up with a sequel, The Heroic Trio 2, and took over the lead role in Super Cop 2, with Jackie Chan only briefly appearing in a cameo. In 1994, she played Yim, a Wing Chun master in the movie Wing Chun, co-starring with Donnie Yen in the Yoon Woon Ping directed film, in which she has a chance to showcase her top-notch martial arts skills, as well as her charisma and sense of humor. The popularity of Michelle's role of Yim Wing Chung solidified her status as a global icon and a significant figure in the martial arts cinema industry. The Hong Kong Film Awards also recognized Michelle's outstanding contributions to cinema, and she was awarded Best Actress for her work in Wing Chun. Beyond her work with well-regarded filmmakers like Jackie Chan, Yoon Woon Ping, Stanley Tong, and Su Hark, Michelle's filmography grew to include a variety of parts, displaying her flexibility as an actress. She bravely took on new challenges and embraced everything from touching dramas to suspenseful thrillers, leaving her unique stamp on every character she played. Many Hollywood filmmakers and studios were taking notice of Michelle, and her next big step was just around the corner. In her first Hollywood film, she was cast as Y. Lin, in the 1997 James Bond movie, Tomorrow Never Dies. Someone said to me, oh, you're going to be in a Bond movie. And I said, great, I get to be James Bond now. <laughs> the producers of the film were drawn to her because of her impressive body of work and her standing as one of the leading worldwide action actresses. She demonstrated her adaptability as an international action star with her compelling performance of a strong, self-reliant Bond girl alongside Pierce Brosnan's Bond. She also took the opportunity to change her stage name back to Michelle Yeoh. We've made some improvements. A few years later, in Ang Lee's masterpiece, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, in 2000, Michelle made another breakthrough in Hollywood. Her mesmerizing performance as the mysterious warrior Yu Shu Lin charmed audiences worldwide and brought her immense praise. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is poetry in motion, and it's Ang Lee, his vision, his passion for martial arts, which when I first met him straight after um, Tomorrow Never Dies to talk about Crouching Tiger, all these martial arts movies, the Kung Fu movies as we call them, is something that we all grow up with. It's like our Marvel comic. The enormous success of the movie not only helped Michelle gain fame on the global scale, but also established her as a leading figure in the martial arts film industry, along with taking home many Best Actress statues at a multitude of the industry's award ceremonies. She gained even more recognition for her portrayal of the mysterious Maha Meha in Rob Marshall's 2005 film, Memoirs of a Geisha, a complex look into the culture of Japanese geishas. Agony and beauty for us live side by side. 
Your feet will suffer. Your fingers will bleed. Even sitting and sleeping will be painful. The film demonstrated her commitment to acting just beyond being an action star. Michelle gave a captivating performance that struck a chord with both critics and viewers because of her rigorous research and in-depth knowledge of Japanese culture. Over the next decade, she starred or appeared in a large variety of films made in Hollywood, Hong Kong, and elsewhere. A few quick highlights include a starring role in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, a beautifully nuanced lead performance in Luc Besson's political and romantic drama, The Lady. It may be a little late to be saying this, but you realize I've never actually spoken in public before. She lent her voice to the soothsayer character in Kung Fu Panda 2, a Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon sequel in 2016, and a brief cameo in the credits of The Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Hell yes. Michelle hit it big again in Crazy Rich Asians in 2018, with her performance of Eleanor Young in the groundbreaking romantic comedy, which once again demonstrated her skill at navigating difficult characters. The film's monster success not only dispelled biases, but also opened the door for more Asian actors and actresses to be featured in Hollywood films. But I think it was very important that every time I had a scene, I had only two scenes really with my son, but in that scene, how am I going to show you right away you see love of a mother? for a son. And all that she is doing is to ensure that her family, the love for her son, is kept. After that, she appeared in 24 episodes of Star Trek Discovery as Starfleet Captain Philippa Giorgio. Is this amount of sarcasm always necessary? Necessary, no. But I do like it. The Netflix film Gunpowder Milkshake and her second Marvel movie role as Ying Nan in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. At the age of 60, she made what is arguably her most important film to date, the sci-fi action comedy mind trip, Everything Everywhere All at Once, written and directed by the Daniels. All of Michelle's years of acting and fighting skills perfectly fit into her role of Evelyn Wang, a downtrodden laundromat owner, wife and mother, who was thrust into one of the wildest Save the Universe plots ever contrived. Her tender performance, mixed with some wildly inventive fight scenes, had critics and audiences alike in awe of Michelle's talent. Her amazing adaptability is on full display in this film. It was amazing to, to think that at this point in my career, because you know, it's like the older you get, they see you by your age rather than see you by your capability. They thought, you know, she can do this. If anybody can in our industry, who can fight, who can be funny, who can, uh, you know, be dramatic and sincere and all those kind of things, we believe Michelle will be able to do it. And to receive that, you don't know how joyful. Michelle reached a career milestone when she won a Best Actress Oscar for her astonishing performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once. And also to my extended family in Hong Kong, where I started my career. Thank you for letting me stand on your shoulders, giving me a leg up so that I can be here today. And to my godchildren, to my sisters, um, all of them, to my brothers, to, oh God, to my family. Thank you. Thank you. It was a significant event that solidified her reputation as one of the most talented and esteemed actors of her generation becoming the first actress of Asian descent to win an Academy Award. Beyond winning individual honors, Michelle's achievements have changed the game for Asian representation in Hollywood and the wider world of film. It's shining the light on a, a part of the world of people that looks like me, who's never been included, so it matters. And yes, do I want it? Yes, I want it. Not just, yes, for me, but not just for me, but just to say we all can sit at the same table, work to te together, and tell beautiful stories together. Her pioneering performances in some of the movies mentioned earlier have crossed cultural barriers and won her praise from peers, filmmakers, fans, and critics all around the world. Michelle has become a true cinematic icon thanks to her talent for playing complicated and captivating characters with nuance and honesty. Along with her acting accomplishments, Michelle has received praise for her charitable activities and advocacy efforts, 
She has been chosen to serve as a UN Goodwill Ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, where she will use her authority to spread the word about crucial social issues while making a positive impact on the world. Evidence shows that peace-building interventions are more effective if they are directly tied to, promote, to promoting gender equality. What's more, women should be active agents in peace negotiations and peace-building, not merely beneficiaries of services who need protection. Few people in the vast fabric of the film industry have the talent, charisma, and unshakable dedication that characterizes Michelle Yeoh's incredible career. Michelle has traveled a route paved with personal obstacles, incredible victories, and amazing performances from her roots in Malaysia to her current status as a worldwide icon. Michelle is a woman whose love of dance led her to thrive in martial arts. She charmed viewers with her beautiful movements and breathtaking action scenes throughout the chapters of her life. Along the way, she confounded expectations, enthralled audiences, and established herself as a major presence on the international stage with each undertaking. New generations of talent have been motivated by Michelle's influence as a pioneering Asian actress to embrace their ancestry and pursue their aspirations boldly. Michelle's influence has dispelled misconceptions and opened doors for others as well. Michelle Yeoh has redefined what it is to be a cinematic force. I never think I am doing it right because I am still trying to find ways and trying to learn. I always believe the harder you work, the luckier you become. And then when you do get the opportunity, you're ready. Thanks for watching. Please take the time to like and subscribe.